Welcome to the third video about our upcoming expansion, Goethe Dämmerung. I'm Peter Nicholson, Game Director for Hearts of Iron, and today I'll be reintroducing you all to Hungary. What began as a minor update alongside Austria's rework has quickly turned into a full overhaul. Since it's been a whole seven years since we last talked about Hungary, let's start some things off with historical context. At the end of the Great War, Hungary, along with states like Czechoslovakia and the state of Slovenes, Croats and Serbs, broke away from Austria-Hungary. Despite these efforts, the Treaty of Trianon left Hungary with only a fraction of their territories, a dismantled military and heavy reparations to pay. The first Hungarian Republic was declared, but quickly replaced by the Hungarian Soviet Republic, which waged a series of wars to regain lost lands. After its defeat, the counter-revolution restored the Kingdom of Hungary with Admiral Miklos Horthy as regent, a position he held until the end of World War II. The general shape and feeling of the old Hungarian focus tree has been preserved but expanded. The key change is that historical Hungary, while joining the Axis, remains non-aligned under Horthy. Hungary tried to make peace with the Allies in the common turn, but after being invaded, Horthy was replaced by German puppets. Now represented as the fascist party, with its own branch for those of you who choose that path. The tree begins with strengthening Horthy's regency and suppressing opposition, later shifting toward alliances and territorial expansion. The ultimate goal for post-Treaty of Trianon Hungary is to restore Greater Hungary reflected in some form across the various branches. The fascist branch begins with the same focus as the historical branch, deciding to continue the regency. After that, things will start to change for Hungary. Here you'll start the game by having Gyula Gombos attempt to overthrow Horthy and take the mantle of regent for himself. To do this, you'll need to strengthen the fascists, which in turn might have some unintended consequences. The monarchist branches start differently from the historical or fascist branches. There are a total of five different monarchist branches available to Hungary that share certain parts with each other or with the historical and fascist branch. They revolve around Horthy deciding to actually name someone king either choosing to comply with the stipulations laid out by the Little Entente and thus selecting a non-Habsburg monarch, or going against their will and doing just that, leading to some elevated tensions with your neighbours. If you prefer, Horthy himself or his more popular son can also be crowned king, and they each have a branch of their own. The Austro-Hungarian joint focus tree is accessible not only to Austria and Hungary when following their respective branches, but also to any of their former empire's puppets, such as Czechoslovakia, Croatia or Lombardy Venezia. This branch allows you and your allies to rebuild and strengthen the combined power of the new Austro-Hungarian Empire, or the Danubian Federation, if that's your preferred path. The Republican branches all start with preparing for the only required civil war in order to go down a certain political path in Hungary, where they will eventually oust Horthy from power and dismantle the regency. When the civil war is over, it'll be time to choose who will lead, all of which will take you down different paths in the tree. In the Democratic branch, the two main choices are between taking the diplomatic approach and attempting to formalize a Danubian alliance, also unlocking the Austro-Hungarian joint focus tree, or to go for achieving Hungary's ultimate goal of reclaiming lost lands, doing all in your power to restore Greater Hungary. In the Communist branch, you can also choose between two paths. The first is a common turn friendly route where Hungary strengthens its ties with the Soviet Union to build up its industry and military, eventually becoming a strong minor power and the Soviet Union's bulwark against the West. Or, you can choose the Comintern unfriendly branch. The goal here, like that of many Hungarians during this time, is to restore Hungarian borders, just like the Reds tried to during the Civil War. The end goal, however, in this branch, once you've achieved your peak form, is to take down Stalin's empire of evil and bring an end to his Marxist-Leninist charade.
With the rework of the tree, we've kept the common branches in similar shapes and general positions as the old one. The industrial branch on the left eventually leads into the military branches in the center and right, and contains most of the expected factories and research slots, whilst the Air Force, Land Forces and Naval Trees contain bonuses and effects that pertain to their respective branches of the Armed Forces. The start of the military branch revolves around getting rid of the Trianon restrictions, just as it did before. With the rightmost side of the land branch being available immediately, the more technology and industry-focused parts on the left of it, as well as the Air Force branch, require the year program to have been started before becoming available. Thanks for watching. Next, we'll be jumping into two new colossal features for Goethe Demerung, Historical Germany and the Systems for Germany. <laughs>